The Ruger 1022, everybody has one, or at least everyone should have one. It's cheap, easy to use, tons of fun. Perfect, right? Well, not quite. The stock magazine release is on the small side, making it a pain to use. The charging handle is only on the right side, which is annoying because I always have to use my shooting hand to pull back on the handle. Releasing the bolt. While holding the bolt back, you push up on this tab one time, then you can release the bolt. It's really annoying. Luckily, the people at Tandem Cross feel the same way and in response develop the Fire Switch magazine release, the Advantage left sided charging handle, and the Guardian Auto Bolt release plate. Big thanks goes out to Tandem Cross for sending these parts out to me so that I can share them with the rest of you. The Fire Switch magazine release replaces the stock lever. The lever itself is significantly longer and makes it so that you can release the magazine by either pushing or pulling the lever. The Advantage left-sided charging handle works by replacing your optics rail with a left-sided charging handle combined with the standard Picatinny rail. The large handle moves the nub on the right side, which in turn moves the stock charging handle. This particular setup allows you to use whichever handle you want at any given time. The Guardian Auto Bolt release plate replaces the stock plate and makes it so that you don't have to push up on the small tab in order to unlock the bolt. Instead, you simply pull on the charging handle all the way back and then let go. The bolt will unlock and slam forward. Installing these parts is really easy. Installing the Advantage charging handle is as simple as removing your current optics rail, cleaning the top of your receiver, then mounting the Advantage with the provided screws. To install the fire switch and the Guardian, first, unload the rifle, remove the magazine, separate the rifle from the stock by loosening the screw, remove the barrel band, set the safety to the middle position. At this point, the two will simply come apart. Let the bolt buffer pin fall out of the receiver. Separate the trigger pack from the receiver by driving out the two pins. Drive out the bottom pin forward of the safety. The magazine release comes out easily. Be careful to keep some pressure on the magazine plunger as it is spring loaded. Insert the tab of the fire switch into the trigger pack so that it sits to the right of the magazine plunger. When properly installed, the spring pressure will hold the fire switch in place. Drive the pin back in just enough to poke through the fire switch. With the bottom pin of the bolt release plate now out of the way, all that is needed is to drive out the top pin. Remove the ejector, then simply pull out the stock plate. Reinstall the Guardian plate by sliding it into place just like the stock plate was. The tab of the plate will stick out of the bottom of the trigger pack. Finish driving the bottom pin. Partially drive the top pin back in. Make sure that the bent leg of the spring rests in the notch on the plate and the straight leg sits underneath the pin. Reinstall the ejector. Finish driving the pin all the way through the plate and the trigger pack. At this point, reassemble the trigger pack, receiver, and stock in reverse order. The Ruger 1022 is a ton of fun to begin with, everybody knows that. But with these tandem cross mods, they up up the fun factor even more. The Fire Switch magazine release just makes the whole shooting experience just far more... Can I help you? This is a private club, man. How did you even get past the gate? Either beat it, or I'm gonna have to call the cops. Okay, I see. You brought your friend along too. Is that it? Alright, you know what? I was being nice the first time, but you're just gonna have to go.
as I was saying, the Ruger 1022, it's all kinds of fun. But with these tandem cross mods, shooting this thing is just a lot more streamlined, a lot quicker, just more enjoyable experience overall. Fire switch magazine release, it's longer, it's bigger, easier to get to. And with the added versatility of being able to pull or push to release your magazine, uh, it greatly adds to the flexibility for, for the shooter, especially if you're in the competition and you really need that extra edge. My favorite part of these three mods probably has got to be the Advantage charging handle and the Guardian Auto Bolt release plate. With the original setup, pulling back the handle and releasing the bolt was always this weird two-handed, three, four step process that I always found really annoying. And I kind of find it hard to really express how much I hated the original setup. But with the, uh, the Advantage and the Guardian, just uh, not having to move my shooting hand to pull back the handle and not having to mess with this little tab is a big plus. It's just uh, icing on the cake. Uh, with that, I want to thank Tandem Cross for sending these mods out to me. Thank you very much for making this video possible. Check out my description box below for links to Amazon for some of the range gear that I use. Uh, once you're done with that, head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash pewpewdave. Come back, check out my other videos, and always remember, as you just saw, gun control sucks.